There are some bright spots. There are some troubled spots for Disney as the media company reports its fourth quarter earnings revenue up 3% to $10.8 billion. Profits up 14% to $1.2 billion. But look, revenue fell on the film division specifically on higher write downs and a decrease in box office results. Revenue from interactive was also down, but cable and theme park revenue was quite strong. There you go. Let's go to Disneyland. Disney stock, though, falling in after hours trading, not the happiest place on earth today. John Ehrlichman sat down with Iger today. He joins us live again. The interesting thing about Disney's businesses is just how many they have. How did that factor into their results? It's it's a really complicated company on some levels, Nicole. I mean, you can't compare, say, Disney to CBS because there's all these moving parts with Disney. And just to give you a better sense of how they all come together, obviously, uh, a lot of people focus on powerhouses like ESPN within Disney. That's part of the media networks business, and that does make up a huge part of their revenue. But even still, it's less than 50% of their revenue. They also have, obviously, a massive theme parks business and the cruise line. And that part of the business makes up almost a third of their revenue. There's the studio component to this company, which, of course, saw a year-over-year -year decline in its revenue. Uh, there's the consumer products. There's the interactive media. If you look at the year-over-year -year performance that came from Disney, the two areas where we saw sales decline were films and interactive media. And when we talk about interactive media, some people might remember that uh, a couple years back, Disney decided to buy a company called Playdom. Obviously, there's been a huge push into digital gaming, but that deal has not worked out as they had hoped. They are hoping that ultimately it can be a profitable business, but the revenue obviously falling uh, over the course of the last 12 months.